Now that we have Asterisk installed, we'll test to ensure that Asterisk will start and run. We'll also take a look at a tool called Safe Asterisk and learn how it can simplify administering an Asterisk system by detecting when Asterisk crashes or stops and automatically restarting it. This module will use commands and concepts that we haven't yet introduced. Don't worry too much for now about learning the specific commands. Later in the course, we'll go through each of them in more detail. We've already installed Asterisk, Dotty, and LibPRI. Now let's do a quick test of each of these components. To load the Dotty drivers, we can type service Dotty start on most Linux distributions as long as we ran the make config command in the Dotty source directory after compiling. We should see text on screen that starts with loading Dotty hardware modules if the Dotty service was started successfully. Next, we'll test asterisk. On the Linux command line, run asterisk C. If asterisk is installed and working properly, you'll see a rush of text and be left at a prompt that looks like this asterisk CLI greater than. If you are not presented with this prompt, go back and complete the installation steps again. At the prompt, go ahead and type core show version and press enter. Then verify that asterisk reports the same version as the package you just installed. Now, to ensure that asterisk recognizes Dottie and is able to use it, type Dottie show version and press enter. You should see something like this. Finally, we can verify that libpri is installed properly by typing pri show version and pressing enter. If either of the Dottie show version or pri show version commands fail, or if asterisk tells you no such command, that means that the service either is not installed or was installed after asterisk was. Go back and follow the steps in the previous module in the specific order they're presented and try again. Many people use a tool called Safe Asterisk to help them administer Asterisk. Though Asterisk is well tested and quite reliable, it is still possible for it to crash. The last thing you'd want on a production system is for a crash service to remain down until an administrator is notified and fixes it. Safe Asterisk continually monitors the system to ensure Asterisk is running. If it finds that Asterisk is not running, it will try to automatically restart it. It also generates a detailed file with information regarding the crash called a core dump file. This core dump file can be used by support personnel to help determine the cause of the system crash. To start Asterisk with Safe Asterisk, you can use the command safe underscore asterisk at the Linux command line. You now know how to test your asterisk installation. You also know how to use safe asterisk to minimize downtime in the event that asterisk crashes. We've jumped right into some pretty technical commands in this chapter without giving you much background or context for them. We feel it's important to get asterisk up and running very early in the course so that you have a sandbox to experiment with throughout the upcoming chapters. Now that you know how to install asterisk, we'll continue on to the next chapter and discuss some asterisk basics.